Hello, I'm Courtney. What's up? And today I'm going to be talking about my most anticipated book releases for 2017. So I honestly feel like I'm not anticipating a lot of books. Like a lot of books are coming out next year, but there's like very few that I'm like very excited for. I did a video like this last year and a lot of you surprisingly liked that. So I was like, why don't we do it again this year? So that's what I'm going to be doing today. And I honestly don't even know how many books I'm going to be talking about. I'm just going to be talking about the books that I'm like really excited for. Before I get started, let me just say that most of the books I am going to be talking about don't actually have like titles or covers. So I'm not going to be showing any like covers or anything because I'm lazy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to link as many Goodreads pages as possible. I'm going to try to link all the books that I'm going to be talking about in the description box down below. I have to say that I feel like most of the books I'm going to be talking about are Rick Riordan and Sarah J Moss. But you know, whatever. So let's just get started. So the first book that I want to talk about is Wayfair by Alexander Brecken and this book is coming out on January 3rd. So I like got like two weeks to wait. So that's pretty nice. Wayfair is the second and final book in the Passenger duology. I read Passenger back in April and I adore that book. It was such a fun read and I'm really excited for Wayfair and to see how this series is going to end and I just love it so much. I really wish this series wasn't a duology because I just I love this world and I'm very excited to see how Wayfair is going to turn out to be. Another book that I am anticipating is Wires and Nerves by Marissa Meyer and this is coming out like sometime in January or February I want to say. Wires and Nerves is basically a continuation of the Lunar Chronicle series and this book is going to follow Eco, our favorite android, and this book is actually a graphic novel which is very exciting because I've never read a graphic novel before and I'm really excited to see how Wires and Nerves is going to turn out because it's a graphic novel and I feel like that's the perfect way to describe like Eco's story and I'm really excited to read from Eco because I feel like Eco does not give enough, does not get enough credit in the Luna Chronicles and I love her so I'm really excited to read from her and to be reunited with my faves. I love the Luna Chronicles so much so I'm just really really excited for Wires and nerves. Another book that I am looking forward to that is coming out in 2017 is The Upside of Unrequited by Becky Albertelli and this book is coming out April 11th of 2017. If you don't know who Becky Albertelli is, she is the author of Simon vs. the Homeo Sapiens Agenda which was one of my favorite books of this year and she has a new book coming out next year and I'm really really excited for it and I literally have like no idea what it's about. I think it follows a girl and I don't know, I'm just excited because I love Simon so I know that this book is going to be amazing. Another book that I am anticipating is The Ship of the Dead by Rick Riordan and this book is coming out October 3rd. This is supposed to be the third and final book in the Magnus Chase and the Gods of Asgard trilogy and I'm I'm so excited for this. Oh my gosh, I can't even tell you. Especially after the end of Hammer of Thor, I'm just like, give me Ship of the Dead. I'm just, I think it's going to be so good. I mean, literally everything that Rick writes is amazing, but I feel like Ship of the Dead is going to be really really good and I'm really looking forward to it. Speaking of Rick Riordan, another book that I am anticipating by him is The Dark Prophecy and this book is coming out on May 2nd. The Dark Prophecy is the second book in the Trials of Apollo series and I am so excited for this book especially now because the cover and excerpt just dropped and I am so pumped because I read the excerpt and it was so good and I'm going to be making a whole video talking about it like real soon. I'm going to be filming that video ASAP so look out for that but I'm so excited for this book. I think it's going to be amazing. I'm just so excited to be reunited with Apollo because I just I love him. He is just wonderful and I'm just I'm so excited for it. I just remembered that there's another recording book coming out next year and that's the Camp Half-Blood Confidential and it's coming out the same day as the Dark Prophecy and basically the Camp Half-Blood Confidential is like this guide to Camp Half-Blood and it's told from Percy so I'm really excited for that too because I mean I will literally buy anything that Rick writes and plus it's being told from Percy so that's pretty good. 
And finally, my most anticipated book release of 2017 is A Court of Wings Ruined by Sarah J. Moss. This is the third book in the ACOTAR series and this book is coming out on May 2nd and words can't describe how excited I am for this book. Like I thought my excitement for the Hidden Oracle was real but like my excitement for War is like it is like exploding. I'm so excited for that book. You don't even know how excited I am to see more of Face and I'm literally, I'm so ready, but not really, because I'm pretty sure Akawar is going to kill me. I'm just very excited to be reunited with my bays, aka Farah and Rysand. I love them so much, and I just, I need to make sure they're okay. Like, you don't understand how scared I am, because if you read A Court of Miss Fury, you know what happens in the end, and I just, I need to make sure they're okay. Like, I hate not knowing what's going on. Like, I just really, really need Agawar. I just, I want it so bad and I'm just so excited for it. But that, my friends, were my most anticipated book releases of 2017 and I hope you all enjoyed this video. I'm Courtney. Thank you all so much for watching this video and I will see you all next time with a new video up soon. So I will see you then. So bye! Yo! Thank you.